Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place. I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram, where you can find me at joss.jane. On Instagram, I post a daily fragrance learning combo every day. Also, if you could be sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, if that button that says subscribe is red, just hit it and you can subscribe. I've heard that YouTube is unsubscribing people without notifying them. So be sure to make sure you're subscribed. Thank you. Today, I'm super excited to be sharing with you some fragrance decants that Amy from the channel Savor Salvage Scents graciously sent me. So I'm super excited to share these with you. Amy has a fabulous channel, which I will link below. Be sure to subscribe to her channel. Show her some love. She's fabulous. She's just a lovely person. She has an amazing wealth of knowledge about perfume and the whole process of perfume, as well as having a fabulous collection, as well as being a fabulous person. So be sure to subscribe to Amy's channel. And I'm so excited to share these with you because she's got such cool fragrances. The first one is from Solstice Scents and it's called Conjure. So I know Amy loves Solstice Scents, which is kind of an indie niche brand, I think. And I've never, I don't think I've ever tried anything from Solstice Scents. So I'm really excited to get the chance to try these because I've always been kind of interested. And I think Holly from the channel, Holly Go Lightly, also, also has talked about Solstice Scents. So I'm very excited. And I will link Holly's channel below too. So Conjure. So right away, this is a really interesting sort of ambery. This is a really beautiful, amber, spicy fragrance. It kind of reminds me of like being in an old bookstore. It's, I don't know if it's the patchouli or if it's like this slight musty kind of quality. And I don't mean musty in a bad way. I mean like that old book smell. This reminds me of like old books, which I love. So this is really interesting. Uh, maybe incense, maybe that's what I'm getting is like the incense, the patchouli. I'm not sure, but I really like it. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if I would wear this because it is so like of a certain specific place. And I really love the experience of being able to try something like this because it's really not something that you smell every day. It's very interesting and unique. So the next one is called Desert Fleur from Bohemian Rev. So I think Rev means dream. So Bohemian Dreams. And I've never heard of that house. Um, and I've never heard of Desert Fleur. So, um, sounds beautiful. Ooh, that is beautiful. So this is really deep and rich. This isn't like a spring flower. This would be more of a, I think this would be more of a fall or winter fragrance. And it smells beautiful. This is totally something I would wear in the fall and winter because it's so deep and rich and spicy and ambery and really just delicious. So Again, this is Desert Fleur from Bohemian Rev. It's a gorgeous, deep, rich kind of fall or winter, spicy floral, delicious. Next from Solstice Scents, this is called Kaifi or Kifi. I'm not sure which it's K-Y-P-H-I. Hmm. So this is a very aromatic, resinous floral. I feel like I'm getting honey and florals. I think these are very concentrated fragrances is what I kind of remember from Amy's channel is, I don't remember if they're like oil perfumes or if they're just like very extra kind of intensity but this is re really sweet like super honey sweet um yeah this is interesting i don't know that this is one i would wear because of that super sweet intense honey just a little bit much but it's pretty and i appreciate the artistry behind this so again this is kaifi from solstice scents next we have narcisse blanc from caron so Caron is a French house. Oh, this is so pretty. So this is a really beautiful, bright kind of spring and summer citrusy floral, really gorgeous, um, especially after smelling those very deep, rich, ambery kind of wintry fragrances. This is much lighter, brighter summer and summer and spring. So I assume it has Narcissus and it's just gorgeous. So this is a really beautiful citrusy floral. I'm really enjoying this. This reminds me a little bit of Jardin Sur Le Nil from Hermes, which I have with that gorgeous citrus floral. Very pretty. Next, we've got Tabac Exquis from Caron, which I mean, I think means exquisite tobacco. Uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, I love a tobacco fragrance, generally speaking. In fact, I think I did a video on the note of tobacco, which I'll put up in the cards very pretty, smoky, as well as like tobacco isn't always like a smoky automatically. 
um, note, but this to me gives me a smoky tobacco. It smells a little bit wet and it's kind of sweet and almost mossy to me. So very unique, very gender neutral, pretty. Not sure this is one that I would wear, but it's really, really interesting. This is one I might want to experiment with and kind of play around with and wear because it smells like one that's going to change over time. And like I said, I really like a tobacco fragrance. So that was Tobacco Exki from Karam. Next, we've got Gardens of India from Parlamois Parfum. I love Parlamois. I need to try more from them. I know Amy did a whole video where she talked about her experience visiting Parlamois in France, and it's so, so cool. It sounds like such a great house. I have Guimauve de Noël, which I love. Gardens of India. Beautiful, beautiful floral. I feel like I'm getting white and yellow florals. Maybe Lily of the Valley but it's not like in your face, super sweet, cloying Lily of the Valley. It smells really good to me. So this is a very classy, beautiful floral that I think would be a nice everyday spring or summer fragrance. You can, I think this is one where you could wear to the office or anywhere pretty much just very pretty and elegant. So again, this is Gardens of India from Parlamois. Next is Night Flower from Eris and that's E-R-I-S, which I have not heard of. So really looking forward to trying some of these. This is so cool that I get to try these like houses I've never, never heard of. Ooh, that is pretty. Really interesting. Lots of amber. I feel like I'm getting patchouli, some rich flowers, maybe some fruit, very gender neutral, beautiful and gender neutral. I think it's really appropriately named night flower because it does kind of smell like something like a night flower. I guess I don't have that much familiarity, but I know there are flowers that bloom at night, which is kind of cool. So this is rich and exotic and beautiful and definitely one I would like to experiment more with. Again, Night Flower from Eris. The next one is Nightgown from Solstice Scents. This is very rich and spicy. I feel like I'm getting incense. This is really interesting. I don't know that this is my style. This is, um, I feel like I'm getting a lot of patchouli and incense. And then there's something kind of like dry and spicy. I don't know, it's, it's interesting, but I don't think this one is my jam. So a nightgown from Solstice Scents. Just first impressions. The next one is Shalimar Souffle d'Oranger from Guerlain. And I love the Shalimar line. And this is apparently an orange or orange blossom spin on Shalimar. So very excited to try this one. Hmm. Oh, that's so pretty. So this is like dry and spicy and it's got orange. I feel like I'm getting Mandarin orange and orange blossom. Not totally sure on that, but combined with that Shalimar DNA, it's just beautiful. Um, like a fabulous fall winter fragrance. Shalimar just takes me back because my grandma wore Shalimar. So it's got a little bit of a sentimental vibe to me. And this is a beautiful, beautiful flanker to Shalimar. Again, it's, it's Shalimar Souffle d'Oranger. Fabulous, fabulous. And the last one is from Diptyque and this is Olen or Olene, I'm not sure which, probably Olen. So I have some Diptyque travel sprays. Ooh, that's a really sweet white floral. Ooh, this might mellow out to be something really stunning over time, but white florals, super sweet white florals aren't my thing. So this one, not a good first impression for me, but I do really appreciate Diptyque. I think they do some phenomenal fragrances but right off the bat, this one smells very sweet, like Lily of the Valley, and I'm not sure what else, but it's um, it's classy and it's cool, but it's probably not for me. So again, this is Olen from Diptyque. That was the last one. So I wanna give a big thanks to Amy from the channel Savor Salvage Sense. Again, be sure to subscribe to her channel. It will be linked down below so you can click and support Amy's channel because she is amazing. You will love her. Thank you again, Amy, for sending these over. They're amazing and beautiful and I really appreciate it. So also thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.